Hey, this is Al from Transformational Gaming, and today uh, we are starting on Neo. Um, I believe this will be the fourth installment of Neo. Uh, again, Neo's not a long game. I don't suspect it to go more than. Um, I want to say more than anything, anything more than 10. And I don't even think we're going to make it to 10. Uh, but uh, I don't imagine this lasting any longer than 10 episodes. Uh, but I did want to get this up. I want to get this started uh, because um, I believe that this is what a is game. Analysis. That fits the channel, the uh, fits what the channel does, uh, fits what the channel like, wants, which is enemy. to get those, um, those uh, indie games started. And so, that's what we're doing right now. Yeah. I believe, I believe I got the first one up. Uh, I believe I got the first one up, uh, so... Okay. Alright. These things are the most annoying, most difficult things to ever destroy, but again, uh, watch my first video. You kind of have to button mash on the evade. So you kind of want to button mash on the bay button. The ground is caved in. There must have been a hollow down there this whole time. This actually goes somewhere. Later on. Uh, so, I'm about to go from that boss to another boss. And, we'll, you know, I know I was kind of resistant to the idea of doing some side missions, but... Uh, you know, I'm a little bit more open to it now. To doing some sad missions. Because... I believe that... Sad missions are the way to go. This instance, because... Of... This hallway looks pretty Just because, uh, you know, we're looking at a new thing here. Um, I believe that doing a new game is a good way to um, do these YouTube videos, but at the same time, I do believe that we need to be like at a certain power level. So, uh, especially before we go on the deepest other creature in the forest realm. So, 
that's like a forest realm. And I'm just trying to concentrate a little bit as well as talk to you guys. But uh, that's a forest. Not a forest. Well, there is a forest realm where you go. I want to be like close to level 20 by the time I get to that castle level that they have. And Look at all because, these dead you know, there's some creatures like over there for a long time. that, you know, I believe you have to be up to fighting as far as power levels is concerned. What is this place? Plus, we're going to need know. some there's parts. There's nothing like it in the database. So, we'll probably make this game a little bit longer. Just for that, uh, that's probably going to have us take. I want to say about. Are they dead? A few more videos. Be. Look. So we might reach up to ten or twelve if it's I try to find and do most of the quests. Welcome. Uh, the ideal scenario to the is to have just one video dedicated to side quests. But, you know. This is the portion where I would advise you to go ahead and repair. To be. Look out. My name is Adam. The aliens you seek are no longer here. They were one. Eh? Can I kill him yet? Relax, Eve. We're still negotiating here. Yeah. Fine. They were wiped out centuries ago. Yeah, by this is us. where you want to use the machines. Your aim wiped out. And, your and who knows? And you have to do a counter the androids next. Off of the machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow. We can become aware. Eventually, the intelligence within our network began to surpass that of our creators. And again, I don't know the significance of prey. That might be one that I look up. You would be surprised at how quickly it happened. Just to get your own creators. Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They were Almost like planets, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us, but the humans are here. Now they are interesting. Why that? Because they are an enigma. They killed uncountable numbers of their own kind, and yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? What could possibly drive such behavior? We have dedicated ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity. And now we have allowed you to assist us. You were made in the room, Jack. Assist you with what? It's simple. We need you to locate the humans on the moon and bring them to us. We will then dissect and analyze them in order to drag their secrets forth into the light. Surely you see the attraction in this. Are you insane? We'd never do that! Can you believe this to be? This comes bonkers. Well, I suppose this concludes negotiations. The only remaining option is to destroy them. The same way we destroy the beast. Alright. So, I got messed up there. <laughs> uh... This but I did try to creators. use as my for your beloved humans. I guess evade we'll as much as possible. They're gone. The aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. Uh they make quick work of that robot that I had. Uh, so yeah, these are the aliens that they're talking about. So I don't understand what the storyline is 
up to this point. But I guess it's good for us to do kind of a review of the storyline. So maybe it can Stop complaining. make me yeah, make sense yeah. of it <laughs> while I'm explaining it to you guys. But so the main we now have an operational transporter in the city crux of the storyline well. up to this those. point was transporters? They let to, you transfer your consciousness you know, to a temporary go to Earth, the I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, but I didn't know they finally got it working. And anyway, I'll mark the position of the map. Aliens. So now we know about the aliens. Gone through a lot of stuff, but that was the main mission. Uh, and we can kind of check it hanging? with that you as far as... Your commander told me to build a new access point, so here you go. Oh, and I got the stupid transporter up and running too. Um, thank you? I've known the commander for a while now. She sure is good at pawning work off on people. Next time you see her, give her some lip for me, will ya? So this has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive to operate, too. So... Okay. So now, you can use this transport. So that's up to this point. That's what this game was all about: is trying to figure out what's up with these aliens and see what we can do to stop them. Well, <laughs> they just found out the aliens were dead. So now we're going back to use this transport to see exactly what we need to do next. And this and I'm not cursing but this lady named Jackass alright she is helping us on our mission uh, and one of the things she did was upgrade these vending machines or whatever they are uh, to do transports so we're going to move back to the bunker like again on my first first way through here uh, <laughs> I didn't know where the bunker was. It just kept telling us to go here. So I was thinking, oh, okay, you know, we'll just go anywhere we need to go. And this is where we need to go. At. We need to go to the bunker. So now we're moving on to the bunker. But I want to say this. This game looks a lot better on the PS4 Pro. And I want to do kind of a review of this game. But I want to get some scenes from the Xbox One X. I want to get some scenes from... That concludes our uh, report on the events surrounding the alien the wreckage. The videos they were dead on... This whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, and I want this information to to must con be kept try confidential. Try contrast and Speak of it them. to no one. Of course. But I think the... Mission. PS4 Pro, you know, I think that's just one of those games that this game was made for, man. I just think this game was made, it's played better on the PS4 Pro. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. So, head to Pascal's Village via an access port. Okay. So we gotta go back to Pasco. We gotta get some intel from her. We got some email. I'll go through it maybe once, yeah, but it's none of it. None of driver, the email huh? that you get. Now we have to go back to the city ruins. Is to me anything essential? Why don't we rest a little bit, Two B? It's been a while. I'll rest if I feel like it. I'm not sure if we're supposed to go here or not. I think we're just supposed to go to Pascal Village. No, see. This is a quest. 2D, is that you? Yes. Thank goodness my name is 16D. Yeah. Way to break into a TV. 2B.
give me about uh, 15 minutes. It should be it should be ready. You hear me? All right. So, what we did was a quest. Anytime you see those red dots with a circle in it, and I'll show it to you again, you'll see a whole bunch of them. But most likely it's a quest. Or if you see some that's near like one of those transport slash saves or whatever. Then it's most likely an email or something that you got. Sorry to bring this up, but I got a fish. I, I'm not going to be reading this to you. So this is huh. yeah, that's one of the one of the uh the plots in the movie. <laughs> the 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 humans was driven from Earth and now they live on the moon. <laughs> Story's ridiculous. to the abandoned factory is still there. I've marked it in. Okay. Well, well when we passed the abandoned factory, all right, so let me take us back there's one email in here that we probably need to we probably need to act on in order to get some new equipment but yep right about now it's Saturday and I'm cooking up a new video from my main man and confidant sleepwalker. Yes, that's my main man. Oh. Okay, so I'm wondering. I'm wondering if they're talking about. Okay, let's go back. I got sidetracked there for a minute. Oh. Alright. So I wonder if they're talking about this. They're talking about this. Eleven Beast Momentos. Um. 
This could be it. Or this could be it. try this first since it's on our way. Let's go ahead and knock out some of these uh Operator 60 to 2B. Come in 2B. 2B here. The monitoring signal from the new access point has gone silent. I'm sending you the positional data. Please investigate the site as soon as possible. Understood. You know what, I might just hop up there. Especially since it's so close. Plug-in chip. Marking approximate location on map. Alright. We can go back and get that later. Report. Mail notification received from access point. Go ahead. See, that's the problem, man. How do I get over there? Okay, so I know where this is at. I know where this is at. that building.
Alright, let's see if we can get up there by here. Alright, that's look like it that's looking like what we need to do. Alright, and we got more foes to fight. back to here. Alright. This is... We might as well hit up here. Only three of them. See, that's why I'm doing these side missions. Doing these side missions sometimes. Alright, so at least they kept that part. So, do they are they gonna make me Let's see what they're gonna make me do. Are they gonna make me do these all over again? No, it looks like it looks like Oh goodness gracious. <laughs> there we go. It looks like they're going to spare me the time for, or spare me the angst of having to deal with okay. to deal with these other intel that I'm supposed to have been able to uh, beat or whatever. If you beat them, they'll recognize that. And they'll just start you back to where you were before you saved. Which isn't bad. I'm not sure if they'll do that on hard or not. But... That's cool. You keep your status as far as your as far as I keep losing my train of thought. Uh, I keep losing my uh, my frame of reference. But uh, what are they called? As far as your you know your level status or whatever, right? How strong you are. So you get to keep that, 
And you get to keep however many of these things you beat. Now that's absolutely great. Let me do something else. I'm gonna go. There's a there's a system they have. Like you got a chip plug-in program, right? And I'm not sure what's up with it. <laughs> but like like you can customize it. So this I'm level three, right? So you customize it. You can you, you can focus on stuff individually. Like you can customize it. And you can say, hey, look, I want to have these chips as a priority. Now, they don't, look at that, they got all the chips. So, yeah, 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 you can set these as priority, right? Let me okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. Okay, I don't know. So, I guess you can, like, down attack, like, you can, you can gain, let's see, reduce projectile damage, you know, you can remove, you can move these chips however you want, auto, evade, And you can set them as priority. So, like absorb damage or whatever. You know, you can put that in. Or, yeah, so these are the chips you have and stuff like that so you can move these or you can optimize you, know, you can change the chips arrangements and stuff like that you can add chips take them away whatever right all right so or you can set it to automatic and you can f have it focus on defense so you know however you know you can have a balance you know just just what you you know and I guess the the stronger you get the more of the bottom part you get so So you can have defense as your main priority, basically. All right. So let's let's look into. All right, and we can flip this right, and then we can customize it, right? So all chips, equipped chips. Let's look at all the equip equipped chips, right? So the OS is the least priority, even though you gotta have that. Uh, the health gauge to, you know, you can add to the health gauge, I'm guessing. Uh, but all of these, you know, but, you know, the counter, you get, you know, that up, you know, counter back sends back 30% of incoming damage. So if you do that, you know, you can actually gain health now. 
Um, increased maximum HP by 15, 15%. Experience gain up four. So those are the three priorities, whatever. That's your defense. To me, that's all you should be about. But I digress. Now, from what I understand, you can get a, a load of all the chips, right? But some of these aren't even added. So, increased power upon, and it's almost time for me to end this video in about 20 minutes. But, um, I consider this the lost video, right? <laughs> Uh, but anyway, this ain't this this none of this is is um, is is added right because you know none of these are added right. All the ones that's added is the ones that's up here. So. But these are probably, but you know, like. Okay. Show your objective. You know, you only get so many. So, there's places where you can add these at. And, you know. Anyway, these makes you strong. So, I mean, I don't necessarily have to have that, but uh, you know, OS chip. So, and I'm pretty sure there's ways to get more stuff attached. So. I don't necessarily get into all of this unless I keep losing weight. <laughs> so we're going to stay with this, right? Uh, there's other stuff that we can um, inherently add in. But we have to go and to that shop and kind of see what we need to do. So... Yeah, you can buy different programs and stuff like that, so. You know, it's good. Look for these trees. Report. Mail notification received from access point. I kind of got splattered right there. But we're not, not going to necessarily worry about that. So, yeah, by all means, get up here to these trees. Let them kind of come to you. Go 
guess that's another one up here, I guess. So he was the one with the chipset. Hello, die. Die. Y'all don't remember that. All units, be on the lookout for a missing Yorha in the city ruins. This unit was in possession of several plug in chips that contain classified information. I need you to seek out whatever intel you can regarding their current whereabouts and status. Roger. Chips with classified data, is it? So... What's going on with that? So yeah, you have to have some skill. You have to, I mean, and I know people like, man, you playing, you playing like you scared, man. And that's not really the situation. The situation is, is that I'm trying to stay alive. All right. 